Hey guys, I'm Captain Luck and this is my Dwarf Fortress video tutorial part uh, 18. Um, a lot has happened in the last video. This is actually the first video I recorded since 2009. The other ones were pre-recorded last year. Um, yeah, and this is the first time I've played the game since like two weeks. Uh, I played a lot of off-screen and a lot of things happened. First of all, uh, Fei Fang Wong or Fisher died uh, in the river probably. Uh, because of the, the damn carp. Yeah, the bastards. Also, um, what I did was get a lot of new migrants. Let me show you. Uh, pause the video if you want to read them all. And um, Mega Man, or Tanner, actually had a kid. Um, I'm going to look at that here. Mega Man is actually a girl and married to Abe from the, the Abe Odyssey games. Yeah. <laughs> And had one child, Proto Man. Um, Proto Man is uh, a baby, and babies don't do nothing. Uh, babies will grow up, but that will take a long time. It'll take like, uh, I don't know how long a, uh, a dwarf chases a child. Because he'll be a child later and then become a, an adult at some point, but they'll take a long, long, long time. Um, other things I had done was prepare for a well here, and during preparations, two dwarves died. Um, Cosmos and uh, Simon Belmont died. Um, which is a shame, you can see the bodies over here. Time fish. I, the problem is, I made it too low first. That's why I locked this door. You can lock doors, by the way, with LO. Normally, it's like this with LO, it's forbidden, and no one go, uh, will go in it. Um, more on wells later though. Um, something else I did. Yeah, I dig, dig out this upper area, build a wall around it so no one can fire arrows in. And this is all for me now. Um, but first, uh, where we left off last video. Yeah, last video I was uh, doing stuff with cooking and butchering. G uh, the kitchens are still here in the butcher shops. No words at the moment, but uh, it'll be soon. Um, also, I made these two shops, which we'll need this today. I'll show you how to make them again. Um, first, you need a tanner shop, which is BWN. And um, also, you need the, the leather works, which is BWE. I've already built these. This is the tanner shop, and this is the leather works. Um, repaired. Um, and yeah, the tanner shop is something that works automatically. If there's any uh, tans, or if any skins available that uh, were available from from butchering, they will will automatically be tanned. It's just like butchering, automatic. It goes completely automatically. So uh, don't have to look around. You just have to have a dwarf around which has a tanning skill enabled. Just uh, a nice thing to have. And yeah, when the, the skins are tanned, you can actually use them at the leather works and make some stuff. Uh, as you can see, there's a ton of options over here. Uh, armor, dress, robe, blah blah blah. Tons of things. There's even a second screen over here. Um, there are a ton of options. Armor and dress. Uh, there's a couple of things to watch out though. Things like dress and robe are for civilians only, I think. And your military won't actually use them. Uh, I don't think your civilians do either, uh, so they're basically pretty useless and only used for selling, so uh, I don't make any. Uh, the things you want for your military are, I think I'm saying it all out of my head, didn't prepare. Armor, uh, the cloak I think, or the coat. Uh, leggings, or nose protect the legs, helm for the head, glove for the hands, slow boot for the feet, and the buckler and shield is shield. Um, and that's basically the armor, yeah? Uh, there's also some couple of other options, uh, leather bags. Bags are used in a couple of things, like collecting sand, you need a bag. Uh, for the glass industry, so... Like, a couple already. And also, uh, bags are used to store seeds. Seeds are stored in bags instead of barrels, so... Yeah, you, you will probably won't have that many seeds, but uh, it's nice to have some. Uh, a water skin is something yeah, that's hot water, it's uh, 
like these people in the desert. A water skin can hold three uh, rations of water, and uh, your military can equip them. So, and if they have one, they don't need to go and drink uh, every once in a while. There's a problem with it though, because uh, if the, your military dwarf has this, he won't drink any booze. He won't only drink water from the water skin, and uh, that will make him unhappy. And you don't want an unhappy military. Um, so I usually don't really even build them. Uh, backpacks are better. They are the same idea as the water water, as the water skin, but they store some food in here. Store one food item uh, to carry along on them, and uh, that's great. So basically, you want a back leather backpack for or, or a backpack for every dwarf in your military. Uh, a quiver is something that holds arrows or bolts, even or dwarf use crossbow, so crossbow bolts. Um, with a crossbow, uh, with quiver, they can uh, wear, or you uh, take with them two types of uh, bolts, like one uh, really cheap type, uh, like bone bolts to use in training, and one expensive type, like iron bolts if I made them uh, for real enemies, so they'll do more damage. Uh, shoe leather image is something I never use; it's just something to make uh, clothes more um, worth more. And um, yeah, that's basically the leather uh, storage. Here's a leather stockpile, which you can make with BL. I've made a special stockpile here for only uh, finished goods made out of leather. So all the stuff will go there. And um, yeah, that's basically leather. Also, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to explain wells now fast. Um, wells are... Um, <laughs> fucked up with uh, preparing for here. Um, yeah, your dwarves will love them. You can just use them uh, to go get some water out of, out of the, uh, some water without any trouble. Um, there's a couple of problems. You need a lot of things to build wells though. Let's go buy those fast. First you need a mechanics workshop, um, which we'll go into later a lot more. But you can build one with BWT. Uh, and don't need any special and you can build mechanisms with it with AT and you want to build a lot of mechanisms uh, mechanisms are used for traps but more about traps in another, in another video uh, also you need a block, a building block build those in the masons or for something else uh, but the masons is the cheapest one so make some blocks um, and you need a bucket and you can make a bucket from the, uh, the carpenter's workshop. I've shown you that before. And uh, you need an iron chain, which we can use from our forges, which we made last video. They're part of furniture, furniture, iron, iron chain. Or you can use a rope, but uh, the chain is probably the easiest one to make. Um, and now we can build a wheel. Uh, let's make one. You can make one with B. And then L for well. I'm going to build one over here, and here's all the options you need: a dolomite block, which I prepared at the, the, the mason, a bucket from the carpenter, uh, a chain or a rope from uh, the forge or the whatever, and a mechanism from a mechanism workshop. Uh, mechanisms, by the way, are just made from rock, which I made it. Why I made it in the rock stockpile. They're all made from rock, they're really cheap, and it's no real problem to make one. Um, once it's done, the, uh, the well will be built, need some ar architecture. And um, once it's built, you can actually make a well out of it with R. Or an... Uh, what's it called? A uh, well room or something. And your dwarfs come the, will come there when they, they need something to drink. And uh, just use the well... Uh, and pull up some water. The great thing about wells, by the way, is that you can make them above the water. Uh, far above the water. As you can see, this is the actual water level. This is level above it, where I screwed up and two of my dwarves died. Uh, this is level above that again. The wells need to be above water, but uh, and have an open space connection to the water, like here and here. But uh, they can be quite far above the water. So and yeah, no need uh, as of building them uh, right on top of the water level. 
and um, they just, just dwarfed all the damn corpse that's in the, my river over here. Um, also, I screwed up and I closed this door. Did I show this? I forgot him. This third time I make this video, uh, I close it one off with LO. Um, and that's basically all I wanted to do in this video. I made it on time. Um, but I'm, I'd better rather stop uh, fast because I'm, yeah, 11 minutes from YouTube. Um, okay, that's far. So that's everything for this uh, super fast effort episode. Um, okay, I'll see you guys later. See you guys around.